Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is June 1st, 2019. Uh, we have had a busy day here at the homestead, so I'm going to explain to you everything that happened and what we got done. And uh, as you can see, all the panels are out of here now. Uh, we have 15 panels all together. We have nine up, and I'll explain what's going on there. The other six are right there for right now. So what we did is we were working on the rack. And so what we've done for now, too, I just want to explain this, too, so you guys understand. We have tied everything together to these old wires that go underneath and over back to the building, okay? So these wires are all tied into here for now. And so what's going to happen is we are going to be having a building built right here. Um, I don't know how soon it's going to be, hopefully before the snow flies. And then everything um, from the battery room will be in this building, the batteries, the uh, you know charge controller, the inverters, all that type of stuff will be in here. And then so that will have a, a much shorter run. And then from here, we will run a line up into the house, okay? So that's what that's the way it's going to be. So let me explain to you what we had uh, going on. So first of all, uh, we used two inch pipe. Okay, we added another two and a half feet onto the original uh, ten feet put, uh, pieces, and the ten feet pieces were buried in the ground in uh, concrete. Okay, everything was backfilled. Then the pipe or the lines were run for the for the wiring and stuff like that that's all underground that all comes out over here all right so um we have used uh, i think it's called condor uh that's what all this stuff is here okay but let me explain this real quick so brian built these pieces that are le um, on top of the uh of the piping okay and then the other pieces that you see where things can be adjusted you see how that is and I'll kick it around on this side so you can see it better okay so that gives you a better look at that all these panels can be adjusted if we want to adjust them uh, basically what it would end up being is you would have to have five people on ladders and everybody loosening everything up and adjusting it all at once once we get everything on here okay so but so right now the angle is at 50 degrees so it's kind of like halfway between winter and summer all right so uh anyway so this uh these other pieces here and i will let you guys i'll give you the information um once i have it from brian a uh, friend of his made these pieces okay these pieces here guys if you try to get that metal piece and i'll show you how it is they're like 150 200 a piece uh, on uh, on uh, online, so it's not not cheap at all. Okay, so anyway, what we've done, and I will show you over here too. The uh, condor, we got everything bolted together with these. We put the plates in, and then everything is screwed in. We've put an extra piece. So I'm going to come around on the outside here. We have an extra piece on the outside. Um, after everything has been all set, all these are screwed in, and I'll show you that from the back side again. But we put these here as just an extra safety measure. So if any time, let's say the bolts came loose for any reason whatsoever, they're going to rest right onto this condor right here. So that's why we put that there. It's just an extra safety measure. Um, we didn't have to do that, but we decided to go ahead and do that. So what we have up here, this here, uh, these nine panels are all tied together. Okay, so right there is uh, 2,520 watts in this here. Uh, these three panels here were the first three that we put up. Those were the three that were underneath over where we put the other ones for now. Um, those were the three that have been sitting there since last February of last year. So those went up. Uh, these two that were the two in the rack and these four we're all in this rack here, okay? All this is gonna get taken down, guys. All this is gonna be gone, okay? But, uh, so those are up there now. And uh, since we got them up, I'm gonna be honest with you, it has been cranking power uh, since we did it. What I can't wait to see, what it produces in a full day. Uh, the, the, like I said, again, the angle is 50 degrees. So, and the wiring for them all is coming down. 
it goes underground it is under the frost line okay so on the back side here um, you can see how everything is uh, bolted in we got everything bolted in uh, the panels themselves are, are screwed in to the condor and so everything is tied together and so that's how they're all sitting in there and uh, but uh, it has been a project so we had a couple of snafus of course uh, we ended up making two trips down to Lowe's and uh, we ended up uh, the spring bolts we didn't have enough spring bolts that's why the other panels are not on here right now okay so um, Brian's got to pick up more of the spring bolts and uh, so once he gets those we are going to get the other uh, panels on there as well there was one snafu that happened into the battery room uh, one of the 60 amp breakers uh, fried I think he uh, Brian said it was because of a loose wire so we're gonna be getting another 60 amp breaker and once we get that breaker get these spring bolts and stuff like that then the other six panels will go it'll be three you know here and then three more here we will still have extra room on the end so if we decide down the road here that because uh, what I'll end up having is 4,000 uh, and 20 watts once them other six panels are up okay because there's 1500 watts that still have to go up so once those are up we're still gonna have room if we wanted to to add another three panels so I would put another you know thing in the ground and uh, that would go up there and so okay the other thing we're gonna do and I wanted to talk about this too for extra support what we're gonna do and this was uh, Brian's dad made this suggestion and I thought it was a great suggestion so we're gonna take more of this condor and we're gonna tie it in from here over to here okay at an angle for extra support all the way through for the panels so that's gonna give it a little bit extra support you know for that but let me let me just back up here guys so you can really get a good look at this um, it is absolutely awesome uh, you know it's finally seeing this come together and uh, you know w once we got these up and got them tied in and obviously now I'm going to kick it around here you can see it's very overcast thank goodness today the rain did hold off so we were very very fortunate uh, originally they were saying by 11 o'clock we were going to have rain uh, it never happened thank goodness we had a couple of sprinkles here and there and right now it is about 4 30 in the afternoon so uh, you know that is what is happening with uh, with that but uh, getting this project going so they're gonna come back up through the week and we're gonna get the other six panels on here uh, he's picking up, gonna pick up another 60 amp breaker and then we're going to get that all tied in and get that all squared away. So um, the power that we were getting once these were in and we still had some sunshine, it was unbelievable how much more power we were getting because of the angle and how these things are now. So now a question, of course, I'm going to get is how am I going to clean these in the wintertime? All right, so they have uh, roof brooms, guys that I could from the ground I can use a roof broom from the top and pull that right off and uh, the way that these are set up there's not a huge lip here difference between these two right here as you can see okay so that snow is gonna just slosh right off actually so it's basically I'll get it from the top with this broom and I'll just pull that right down and uh, actually it's probably gonna be a lot easier to clean these then when they were on here this was ridiculous the last couple of years trying to clean these ones because the snow just sat on there and it would be on there forever but because of this angle and we're going to leave it at this angle for a while and we're going to see how we do <clears throat> excuse me with the 50 degree angle but uh this is this is uh it, it is awesome um it, it's a great feeling so these nine are one system okay the other six are going to be the second charge controller um, and that's why the wiring is different okay these wires are for this nine the six are going to be on that one and we still have the option if we want to down the road to add three more panels I want to see realistically I'm going to see how we do this winter coming up with this all completely done and set up and uh, like so the, like I said this week we will get to this if we don't get to it this week by the weekend we're going to get to this and get the rest of these panels up uh, you know get the new uh, breaker 
in the panel box and uh, and get that part squared away. And again, the wiring here go going across that is completely temporary until we get the building in there. So um, obviously that's going to be on the list of things to do. Uh, so again, uh, very very pleased getting this up here. It is absolutely awesome. And uh, so I know everybody's been anticipating this, waiting for this. This has been a long time in coming. Uh, last year I talked about doing this last year. And, um, you know, it, it, it's taken a long time. And unfortunately, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, you know, it's here now. And uh, like I said, uh, once we got this up and hooked up and the sun was still out or a little bit earlier, it was really, really cranking. And uh, so it's very, very exciting really really happy guys i can't even begin to tell you how happy and happy i am i just want to you know thank you so much again for brian one of the guys in my group uh his dad also big instrumental help today so i appreciate that want to give a quick shout out to aiden brian's son hi aiden how you doing buddy your dad wanted to come on here and do this himself but you know kind of want to be private and i understand that and i respect that so uh I'm saying hi to Aiden. I hope you see this, buddy, and you get to see, you know, but your dad is here and your grandpa is here, and huge help today. So, um, anyway, that's what we got going, and again, uh, it's it's been a project, but it's it's awesome, and it's come together. It's been a very, very long day. Uh, we started at uh, 6.30, 7 o'clock this morning. Uh, two trips to Lowe's <laughs> on top of everything, and then we still weren't able to get everything that we needed. So, you know, these things happen. But uh, really came together nicely, and I'm uh, really, really pleased. So that is the new solar system, the so new solar rack, the way it's going to be set up. Uh, I'm going to see how this does as far as, as, far as power production. And then uh, the next thing as far as power goes will be an upgrade in batteries. So uh, once everything is up, we got everything scored away this way, then I will be looking to upgrade batteries. That's going to be the next step. So uh, we're going to get there. It's coming together, and it just takes time. So anyway, guys, uh, happy to share this with you. It's a great day here at the homestead. A lot of progress, uh, a lot of hard work, and it, it, it's awesome. Okay, so um, remember, guys, we are all in this together. That's important to remember. Also remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. Also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that can stop you is you. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention real quickly, there, that sale for Legacy is going on on the website right now. The 120-meal bucket plan, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It is buy one, get one half off. So uh, if you're looking to add to your long-term food storage, now is a good time to do it. That's a great savings. So uh, go to my website, PrepperNurse1.com. Freeze-dried foods, it's a legacy. You click on that. You click on the store, and it will be legacy. Click on that and take advantage of that savings. It's a great savings to have right now. So anyway, um, again, guys, stay positive. Move forward. Work forward forward every day make progress and you're going to get to your you know your dreams are going to come true okay um like i said this has been a dream for a while and this is going to be if you look at this okay so i'm going to show you one more time here you look at this for an upgrade from these okay major major upgrade uh, our power production i'm sure is going to go through the roof and uh, i'm really really pleased i will talk to you all tomorrow prepper nurse one out for now